Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face. Welcome back to ECW The Rebirth. Last time out, we ran ECW Hardcore TV number 404. We continued the title tournament, the World Heavyweight Title Tournament and the Tag Team Title Tournament. Rey Mysterio making his big debut after being out of contract with WWE, AEW, not interested in him. Returned to ECW, he went over Seema to advance to the next round. Bully Ray went over Tommy Dreamer to advance to the next round as well. Whereas the Briscoes went over the Space Pirates of Shane Sabre and OVE, Jake and Dave Chris to advance to the ladder match at Anarchy Rules. The pay-per-view that is coming up in September in the game. We're currently in July. There's about seven, six weeks to go until we get to Anarchy Rules pay-per-view. The last time the rebirth will be televised it was just a tv event on showtime the anarchy rules will be our first big pay-per-view where we will crown world champion and a tag team champion so that is what we're continuing the build for but enough about last time out this week on tonight's episode of ecw hardcore tv we have a three-way dance between tj perkins flip gordon and matt cross in the ecw tag team title tournament we have the North versus the Revolt versus the Strongheart. And then in the ECW World Heavyweight Title Tournament, first up we have Sabu versus The Roof. And then in tonight's main event, we have Chris Hero, the knockout artist, versus Mike Bennett, who will be accompanied by Maria to the ring. That is what is coming up tonight. We will be running the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort, which is in Michigan in the Great Lakes region. But... Enough about that, let's just jump straight into the show. We kick things off with a pre-show bout, which is the Space Pirates of Shane Sabre and Space Monkey going over the team of Hakim Zaid and Sean Devery. They were just in on one night details. This is just here to get the crowd warmed up. Space Monkey was head and shoulders above everyone else and Space Monkey picked up the win when he pinned Hakim Zaid with a reverse 450 splash. Space Monkey getting a 48 Sabre. Pretty much there as well, but Devery and Zane. Not very over, just it here on a one night deal. Gets a 44. Just a pre show about to get the crowd warmed up as we head into the beginning of the show, which is where we get highlights of last week to kick off the show. We see the debut of Rey Mysterio and his win over Seema to advance in the ECW World Heavyweight Title Tournament. We also see footage of Bully Ray defeating Tommy Dreamer and the resulting aftermath where Mike Bennett tried to attack Bully but took a 3D from Bully and Dreamer. This just gets a 47. It's just a brief recap of what went on last week and then we move on to the first match of the evening which is a three-way dance it's a superb match flip gordon defeats tjp and matt cross in 11 26 so going a little bit longer than what we've seen from a few of our matches obviously we're running the attitude entertainment product which means we have to keep matches under 15 minutes otherwise the matches and the ratings are just terrible but anyway, Flip Gordon pinned Matt Cross with a shooting star press in the... Oh, I'm going to have to change that out there because that's the, that's not an elimination. It should be an elimination match. Obviously, we're going to need to set up the freeway dance for future. But it should be Matt Cross out first, then TJ Perkins out. But anyway, Matt Cross was a weak link here, but he does get a pretty decent rating of 51. He's debuting his straight edge gimmick. He gets a very good rating on that. And Flip Gordon gets a 65. TJP gets a 61. So a pretty good overall match there to kick off the show. The road agent notes were just pretty simple gets a match rating of 64 which leads us then into the ecw tag team title tournament match which is the revolt going over the team of the north and the strong hearts the strong hearts were eliminated first when l linderman was on the receiving end of the lock nest lowdown from the north the north and the revolt went toe to toe and either team could have been on the winning side of things here but ethan page finally got isolated and then took the shatter machine from dax howard and cash wheeler and the revolt picked up the win it's a pretty decent match gets a 65 the revolt pretty decent ratings josh alexander's got pretty decent stats in this game gets a 66 page does well as well on lindemann t hawk they're not that over at the moment in this game we're hopefully going to try push them forward in this game as well but they get a 40 and a 42 65 gets the crowd a little bit hotter as well and then we move on and it's just following the match the revolt cut a promo no team is better than us no team can match us in the ring they initially complain about the title being decided in a ladder match at the anarchy rules pay-per-view but quickly change their tune ladders are not for doing flips off of 
They are not designed for some spot monkey to do some rotations like a goddamn gymnast. They are for inflicting maximum damage. Dash Wilder says, pointing out a number of ways a ladder can do damage to an opponent without diving off of one. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we will be the ones climbing that ladder. We will be the ones retrieving that gold and everyone will fear the revolt. So it's just a pretty basic promo from the revolt, putting over that they're now through to the ladder match with the Briscoes in the finals of the tag team title tournament. Both of these guys struggled when going off script, so the overall rating is limited to a 51. Nothing we can really do about that. Next up, we have Theroux for the former Eric Rowan in WWE going up against Sabu in the ECW World Heavyweight Title Tournament. And Theroux goes over Sabu in 8 minutes 12 by pinfall with the greens from the north, which is a choke slam. The match devolves pretty much into a wild brawl around ringside immediately. Sabu, he brings chairs and tables into play and ultimately this leads to his downfall as Theroux gets Sabu. There's a table set up in the ring. And Sabu takes a choke slam through the table, gets pinned, Sabu is out, the roof advances to the next round of the title tournament. This was a wild brawl. Decisive finish, gets a 66, which is so far the best match of the night, which is pretty surprising. No chemistry here, and that's just pretty much all of the roof getting a pretty decent rating here. So the roof with the best match of the show so far. After the match is over, Theroof drags Sabu off the canvas and delivers another huge choke slam onto the remnants of the broken table. Theroof then stares down the hard camera menacingly as Joey Styles and Taz put over the fact that Theroof is a beast and must be a huge favourite for the title, they say Rob Van Dam. Or EC3 will have a tough time going up against him in the next round. Rob Van Dam and EC3 will be facing off on another episode of Hardcore TV to see who advances to the next round. But whoever wins that match will be facing Theroof, who was pretty dominant in a win over Sabu here. And Theroof looking really strong. He gets a 59 for this segment where it's just, it's just pretty much a menacing segment with Sabu still down on the canvas selling. We then move on to the main event of the evening, which is Chris Hero taking on Mike Bennett in the next match in the ECW World Heavyweight Title Tournament. Chris Hero goes over Mike Bennett in 11 minutes 50 with the hangman's elbow. Hero making it three wins in a row on successive editions of Hardcore TV. He pulls out the win over Mike Bennett here. Maria was with Bennett and tried to provide the di distraction. It almost works as Bennett gets a super near four with a roll up that Hero always just kicks out of before the three count. But during the match, Hero is also attacked by Team Filthy with Lawler, Josh Woods, Dominic Guarini all getting involved. But they are negated by Matt Cardona, the former Zack Ryder coming to the aid of Hero. And then Bully Ray, who was involved with Mike Bennett last week, he comes out and also has the issues with Bennett going on. Doesn't want him to pick up the win here tonight and things just break down. Everything goes wild. There's brawling all around ringside. Hero and Mike Bennett finally get back in the ring. Hero hits him with the hangman's elbow. Hero gets the pin and advances in the title tournament. So Bennett out now and free to continue his Bully and the Queen storyline with Bully Reyes. That is what we're possibly going to be building towards the Anarchy Rules pay-per-view and Chris Hero goes through to the next round. Hero and Bennett, a little bit disappointing here with a 58 and a 54. The overall match though gets up to a 64 which means the roof and Sabu claim the best match of the night. The announcer quarter lifted the match from Styles and Taz and Maria did some good work at ringside for Mike Bennett. And we move on to the angle to finish the show. The show then goes off the air with Chris Hero, Bully Ray and Matt Cardona standing tall in the ring, having run off Team Filthy and Mike Bennett. Joey Styles urges everyone to tune in next week where Tom Lawler would be in action against Tajiri with the winner facing Chris Hero in the next round. So that match is could be set up. Hero and Filthy have been having a lot of problems here. And also in the main event next week, we have Marty Skull versus Rich Swan, which Swan, who won the four-way match to get into the title tournament, will be going up against the leader of Villain Enterprises. And we also have the tag team title tournament match between Villain Enterprises, Heart Foundation, and the Rascals. So it's just a quick stare down, a quick hype for next week. 
Gets a 52. Guarini performed poorly in this segment. Guarini, the least of a member of Team Filthy. Hopefully we can change that around because Guarini is a pretty good wrestler. I do like some of his strong style, his his matches, and he's someone we're going to look to get over as well. But anyway, that is the end of the show. We get a 63 overall. We're increasing our popularity in 56 regions. The Roof gets the best match of the night. Whereas pretty much well, none of the angles got above a 60 tonight. So the angle's not getting over as they usually would. But that is the end of our ECW Hardcore TV. We'll just have a look at what went on on AEW Dynamite, which is Cody and Pat going over the Young Bucks in a ladder match in the main event, which gets an 86. Hardy over Taven, who was signed from ROH with a 65. And I just want to check something because I, I think I saw it. If we just go to AEW, if we have a quick look at their roster, I think they have actually gone ahead and signed Roman Reigns. Yes, they have. Roman Reigns has joined AEW. His contract will not have started there yet. He's got another two weeks to go before he actually starts with AEW. He's on over 150,000. So a massive signing here for AEW. I wonder if that's actually put him here. He's still actually the second rated in terms of overall star quality for AEW as one of their top draws, Chris Jericho. Still the top draw with John Moxley, Cody and Kenny Omega. That's quite a lineup there <laughs> with Roman Reigns now being all elite. But that is where we're going to end. We've continued the title tournaments we're moving on. We've got more title tournament matches coming up next week. We're continuing the bill to Anarchy Rules. Tune in next week to see Mighty Skull versus Rich Swan in the main event. See who goes through title tournament picking up here. But until next time, I'll see you later. But remember, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. But until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.